Welcome back guys, uh, let's learn the ABG, ABG is arterial blood gas investigation, it is very quick one, instant investigation that we can perform quickly on the patients, it is very important in patients who are coming with the hypoxia or any other condition, so it is important to find out uh, if the patient has any contraindication, if the patient had this procedure done before because it can be painful on the patient. In this procedure, uh, we can find out the pH, hemoglobin of the patient. We can find out the sodium, potassium, calcium, bicarbonate, uh, lactate, as well as the glucose. It is very important when you are seeing any patient, especially from in the recess or if the patient is unwell. Patients who are on anticoagulation, because they can bleed and they can develop the hematoma. The other contraindications that you need to be aware of are that the patient does not have any um, peripheral artery disease or the patient does, is not on dialysis and has a cannula in the arm. So those are the important points to keep in your mind. Ensure that you explain the procedure to the patient and tell that it will involve you inserting a needle into the pulse and it may be painful and let them know that you will be very gentle and try to be as gentle as possible during this procedure and there may be sometimes we need to attempt more than once and in that case uh, apologize in advance so i'm going to show you what we need first of all for this procedure we need abg syringe we need a pair of gloves, we need alcohol wipe, make sure that we have a gauze piece and a tape. This needle is special, this syringe comes prepared and when you open this you will find a lid on the top and this is a syringe. This syringe has uh, the needle with the protecting cover on the top. So when you open this, you will find it is pre-assembled and it has a needle inside. It has a heparin as well, so you do not need to get the heparin separately. After you have collected all your material, after you have explained the procedure to the patient, you perform the procedure. Now I will show you on the mannequin how to perform it. It is very simple and easy, however, the most important part of this skill is that you are able to feel the pulse. You need to use two fingers. I will show you on the mannequin. Okay, I will prepare my stuff, get the stuff ready. I have the alcohol wipe. I have the syringe and the gauze piece. I have the cover on the top as well. And I have my gloves. Ideally, I will have uh, my tape as well so that I can put on the patient if after the procedure is done. Assuming that I've explained to the patient and I've obtained the consent, I need to look for any visible inflammation, the signs of inflammation like redness, any, any mark or anything and make sure that the hand, the wrist is not painful. Check with the patient before you proceed. So after you've done that, everything is ready. We can see I have the needle attached to the syringe, I have the cap ready, alcohol wipe, and the gauze piece. Ideally, I should have uh, the tape. I have performed uh, Allen's test, and then I will simply feel the artery. Here, you can see on the radial side, After feeling the pulse, clean it. Ideally, we should clean for 30 seconds in a circular fashion and wait for 30 seconds after we've cleaned so that it is dry, the skin is dry. Then, now using two fingers, keeping them apart, put on the pulse, making sure that you can feel the pulse with both fingers and do not touch in between the fingers. Now take your needle, hold it like pen and insert it. And warn the patient of the sharp scratch. You will see the blood is coming in this 
in the syringe you do not need to push or pull and then after the procedure is done take a gauze piece remove the needle gently and put the pressure press this lock to close the needle put the tape on the top and warn the patient that if he sees any blood he should let the nurse know remove this needle and throw in the sharps bin and put the cap remove any air from the syringe and put the cap shake it well take it to the machine where you will need the patient's information including their name their date of birth the temperature and the oxygen take those information with you go to the machine insert the information and process and treat the patient accordingly that's all about it thank you for the sake of your examination if you are preparing for any oski like plab or mrcs or any other examination it is important that you mention that ideally i will perform allen's test before i perform this procedure